All you know that you have expectation you want to achieve tonight. Praise Father Jesus. And so many people have been connecting, disconnected, coming and going every day and maybe begging for one thing every day. Yet, that same thing is what they are begging for. Why? And the Lord says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Has God become a liar? I don't think so. And it can never be. And the song that I was starting, so I just said, Mom, I feel you. God can, so are you telling him that God is failing you now? No. Not even, not even go there. Something must have gone on somewhere. Praise Master Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, have your way tonight again in the name of Jesus Christ. I expel every sort of distraction. For I put my ear in your mouth again. Speak to me that you might speak through me. Father, open the ears of your children that they will decode what I'm encoding tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I'm not here to speak a thousand word, but to speak your word the way it is. Father, teach me that I might be able to teach your children from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, every so slippery, I beg right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Give your children a doing heart to God as they receive a, a little ear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have your seats comfortably. Remember, we are in the realm of the spirit right now. Though you are in your house, you are not in your house. Praise the Lord. The usher in this ministry are the angels of God, uh, the angels of God Himself. Praise Brother Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the ministry that the, the ushers are angels of the Lord. So you must fear them. You must fear them. And they reward you according to your composition. Amen. Amen. So don't distract yourself. I will not say let don't let anyone distract you. Don't distract yourself tonight. Please, Master Jesus. Now, the topic next is keys for manifesting expectations. Keys for manifesting expectation. Or keys for manifestation. Keys for for expectational manifestation. Hallelujah. You can you can see key for expectational manifestation. Or keys for manifesting your expectations. Praise Mother Jesus. And I'm going to be giving out some about five or six um times tonight. Five, six, seven times tonight for you to decode into your into your spirit. And with this, whatever you expect from the Lord, you'll be getting them. Praise Mother Jesus. And they are all biblical terms. Uh, by the way, I'm going to be in, in kind of teaching tonight, not um, preaching or, 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 or um, um, let me say preaching. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be teaching so that we all, we, 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 we decode what I'm encoding. You can get your paper and a pen so that you will understand very well. Praise the Lord. When we get to, or you get to the, go to the YouTube, YouTube tomorrow anytime and, and go back and review it again. Praise the Lord. Keys to manifestation expectation or key to manifest your expectation. Now, the number one thing you must know, number one thing you must know about God is this. For you to get such what's an expectation? Expectation is what you are looking for. What you want to get. Praise Father Jesus. What you are waiting for is your expectation. What you want to achieve in life. Something you you put your mind at so so thing I will get it in so so time in so 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 way that's your expectation and your expectation can either make you to be happy or make you to cry but also your expectation your expectation that you have gotten is, is like a tree of life but when you are not gotten it 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 make you it made the, the bone to be dry pray for Jesus. So for your bone not to be dry, you must listen carefully tonight. Now, the first thing you must know as a as a human being, let me just say as a child of God here first now, as a human being, for your expectation to come to pass in life, the number one prerequisite is this you must be born again. 
Hallelujah. As far as you want to get it from the Lord, as far as it's not a mischievous way you want to get it, as far as you are not talking about the, the, the other side of getting it, as far as it's from heaven, you must be born again. Not, not you should be born again. Not you will be born again. You must be born again. According to third John, I mean according to John 33. The except there is no another exception. The except a man is born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. And everything you are expecting, they are wrapped up in the kingdom of God. Praise Master Jesus. So except you are born again, you cannot access the kingdom of God. The first thing you must do as a human being, as a son or as a daughter, you must be born again for you to get access to the kingdom of God. For you to see it alone, you must be born again. Praise Mother Jesus. And that was followed with you must seek first the kingdom of God. Because everything you are looking for is in the kingdom. As you get to the kingdom, you, will, you have the power to get whatever you want to get in that kingdom. Praise Master Jesus. You must seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And also every other thing shall be added unto you. Praise Master Jesus. So after you have gotten these two things, after you are sick for the kingdom of God, and you are after you are, you are born again and you are seeking the kingdom of God, then you cannot settle down now. Let on earth and say now, let me start tapping into my expectations. Let me now start using as a born again Christian, there are still other things you need to do. Be born again is the preliminary stage of life. Is saying, Lord, I swear my allegiance to you. It's like a governor that is be that is be um appointed or be elected in the gov in the, in the state. When he swear allegiance, the oath of office. After the work continues. That's why what people say, once be born again, is ever be born again is a lie. After you are swear you are allegiance to Christ, that Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. That is where the work starts. Praise Master Jesus. So many of us are so allegiant to God that I will serve you forever. I will love you forever. I want to be yours forever. That is, a, that is oath of allegiance. That is oath of submission. Now, you are submitted to Christ Jesus. Then, the work starts from there. Praise the Lord. Then, after then, whatever you are looking for, must be from God the Lord. The day you give an inch to the devil, you have spot everything. Your expectation must continually be from God and not from man. The day you look unto a man, you are looking down of God. Praise Mother Jesus. The day you look up to a pastor, you are looking down on God. And as you are connecting, you are saying, Ah, when I connect with this that man of God, Apostle Man can help me, you are looking down on God. That is your expectation will be eluded. According to Jeremiah chapter 17, from 5 to 6. That is how we get to read it. So your expectation must be solemnly be from the Lord. And not from any man or only any woman. That's what the Bible said in Psalm. 62 verse 5. My soul waited, waited thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. My soul waited thou only upon God. Only. There is no other person I'm waiting for. Until you have, you have, until you have got into this stage of life. That you don't say, go straight, look, look, look no right or no front. Look straight on God alone. My soul waited that only upon God. For my expectation is from Him. Until your expectation is from God alone, not from the God that you are. Not from any man 
until you, 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 you have gotten that understanding that whatever I'm looking for, blessing reaches that come from the east or from the west, from, but from heaven. Until you have that, that notion, you have that, 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 that mind that everything you are looking for must come from the Lord. I tell you, your expectation will always be failing you. Or you rather, failing your expectation. Praise Master Jesus. Number two, you must not be ashamed to declare your expectation, especially when it comes to the things of the kingdom. You must be bold to speak it out. They will say, ah, let me hide it so that the witches are with us. No, if you know you are getting from the Lord, you must be able to stand and declare your expectation. In the night, you must be bold to declare it. This is what I need, and as far as from the Lord, I am bold to declare it. In the congregation of the righteous, I am bold to de declare it. Praise Father Jesus. No matter the severity of, that, of the thing, you must be bold at all times. Because you know that your Redeemer liveth. As far as from the Lord, nobody can stop it. Praise Father Jesus. That's what the Bible makes us understand. In Philippians 2 verse 20. Say, according to my earnest expectation. According to my earnest expectation. And my hope. That, that is that in nothing I shall be ashamed. But that with all boldness. With all boldness. As always. So people can be bold in the morning. But in the night. I mean they have to know they are weak. They'll be bold to decay in the morning, but in the afternoon, they'll be, they'll be weak. So, he said, well, with all boldness, as always. So, now, also Christ shall be magnified in my body. For, for you to be magnified, for the Lord to manifest in you, you must be bold to, to, to declare whatever you believe in Him. You must be bold at any time in the morning, in the middle of the night, be bold to declare that God is wonderful. Be bold to declare that this is what I stand for. My help comes from man. I mean, my help does not come from man. It comes from God alone. No matter who is standing before you, no matter who the uncle is, no matter who the president is, you must be able to declare in, in any time, in any day, wherever, however, whatever, that it's only through God that your expression comes. See, as always, so now also Christ shall be manifest, manifested in my body, whether it be by life or by death. Whether it be by life or by death. Any time, any day, whether by life or by death, I declare my standard. All things that I'm looking for come from the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Especially when you are expecting God's kingdom. As we are on this mountain, we are always be, we are always able to say, yes, we are practicing holiness and righteousness because we are expecting God soon. So anywhere I go, I declare that I am for Jesus and I'm expecting Him. And in the street, I declare Jesus Christ. In a foreign land, in my land, anywhere I go, in Barnum, anywhere, I said, yes, I'm expecting Him. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Either in body or either in life or death, I will meet him someday. And this should be our greatest expectation. Praise Master Jesus. I'm expecting Christ someday. Either when I sleep and never wake up, I will see him. As our brother David said, if I'm alive with trumpet son, I will see him. And so because of this, I am bold to declare my expectation wherever I go. But today, most of us are not, are not both to declare our expectations are there because we are still doing some things, because we are not fully born again, because we are not truly surrendered to Him, because we are not truly giving Him our allegiance. He said, always be bold to declare your expectation. Now, what is your utmost expectation will give you your, 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 the, the other expectation that you are expecting? If heaven is your utmost expectation, I think you will always draw your resources from heaven. 
praise of Jesus. If meeting God Sunday, if meeting Christ Sunday is your utmost expectation, I tell you, whatever you ask of Him, He will always give it to you. Is somebody there? Either by life or by death, I know someday I will get my expectation. So I am bold to declare it. Then, the next one is delightment. Please, sister, sister, and please put your phone on mute. You, the next one is delightment. You must be delighted in God. Total surrender. Say, you must delight yourself in God. You must do its will in total obedience. In God does not expect eighty percent from you. It's only man exam they will say eighty percent is social mark, is a hundred percent and ninety percent is social. In God you must be upright. Praise Master Jesus. So for expectation to be derived from the Lord, you must be in total obedience to your allegiance to Him. The Bible says in Psalm 37 verse 4, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee, give thee the desire of the heart. I love God so much. Before the Lord do something, there, there is a trade by battle. There's always a, a condition. There's always if and only if. Delight thyself also in the Lord. Then, after you have done this, then He will give thee the desire of the heart. There's, there's so many things you are desiring in your heart right now. But you can't pray to Him. You can't study your Bible. You cannot fast and pray. You, you don't love Him. You don't this what you do. You have, since this year, since the beginning of this year, you have never advised any person and you are saying, Lord, I need something from you. Where is it coming from? The Lord is not a native daughter. God is not a native daughter. You can just come, flash 500 euro or 50 naira on him, and he starts saying, God is not so. Delight yourself to him. And if you delight yourself, he must do his will. And the will of God to everyone is go out there and bring my soul that I have lost back to me. From the beginning of this year, you have not won any soul, and you are saying, God, I, I want to get it from you. Where is it coming from? Praise Mother Jesus. Delight thyself also to the Lord, and He shall give you. There's a, there's a clause there, and, and. Means after you've done my own, I will do your own. It's, it's in other words, do my part for me, my children, and I will do your own for you. I know you have so many things in your heart you want to achieve, but also with me, I, your father, I have some things in my heart I need to achieve. Without you, I can't achieve them. Without me, you, I, cannot, you, I cannot achieve my own. There's no way I'll come to the end and start working from street to street for evangelism. You must have to do it for me. You are telling me, avenge me, my children, my money. The Lord is telling you, avenge me. Look at that stupid man, that devil. He is winning my children every day. What are you doing to squeeze my children out of his hand? As we are praying, God, do this for me. The angels of God are still praying, God, let this person answer you and start working for you. But we are adam we are adamant in God's calling. We are saying, God, I need my expectation. How will it come? How will it come? We are being adamant to his calling. It's crying every day. Go out there and bring my people to me. We don't want to do it, but we are saying the Lord, I need money, I need husband, I need a wife. If he give it to you, you, you might not enjoy it. Praise Mother Jesus. For you to be fed by God in all things, you must hunger after righteousness. For your expectation to come to you, you must be a, 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 a man or a woman is hungry after righteousness. You must be striving for righteousness every day. But be somebody that hates sin, somebody who, dis who disgusts sin, somebody who sees sin as an enemy. If you want your expectation for the Lord to come to pass. Not somebody today, you are a native daughter, when you didn't, didn't work there, you come to God. When you, no! You must stand strong in the Lord. You must 
you must discuss everything that has to do with sin around you. Sin must totally be your enemy. You must declare war against sin. People must know you for your stand. Many of us are this mouthy. People, people don't really know who we are. Even your husband don't know who you are. Your husband or your wife don't trust. He can't, he can't really trust you to say you are a Christian. If the husband that married you cannot, cannot be bought to say, my wife, I believe my wife, my wife is a Christian, who worry about somebody else? You, are not, you cannot stand for righteousness in your church. You cannot stand for it anywhere. And you are saying, the Lord, I want. Heaven is too pure. It's too holy to, to just access like that and start picking up something. No. It's not a market that anybody can go in there and buy whatever they want to buy. No. There is a principle of getting something in heaven. And they are all biblical principle. Praise Mother Jesus. You must be hunger. Hungry after it. After you are born again, as we started today, then you must be hung every day of your life. You must strive to be to be righteous. Because your righteousness of yesterday, as it said to me like yesterday, might not be able to start for you today. Your righteousness of yesterday might be must have been defied in, along the line or not to you. So today you must strive again. You must strive after righteousness every day. Praise Lord Jesus. That's why the Bible says, Blessed are they which do hunger and test after righteousness. What are you hungry and testing after? The things of this world. That's why if they are not forthcoming, you have put forth the things that are the perishable goods of this world. Things you need to work after, you have left them. You are working after other things. Things that you need to think about 24 hours of the day, at least. 20 hours of it must be about God's kingdom. Even at the working place, as you are working, your mind is saying, when judges are coming now, Father, what is it mean that I need, to, I need to take away? Father, wash me. As you are on the street, Daddy, wash. I, I want to be pure. The blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Notwithstanding, your expectations determine your resolution. Praise Dr. Jesus. It's your expectation that determines what you'll be thinking. If your expectation is about God's kingdom, I tell you, you'll be thinking, thinking about righteousness. But either way, the Bible says in Matthew 5 6, blessed are they which do hunger and test after righteousness, for they shall be saved. For you to be fed by the Lord, for you to achieve those goals, even those material things, you must hunger after righteousness. And when you are seeing you that this child of mine is always after me, is always after my righteousness, I tell you, he will make sure that every other thing you are looking for. Oh, man, too black like that. The Bible says, when Solomon has done his part, it is God who said that to Solomon, what do you need, my son? Praise Master Jesus. Say those things you need that you are crying for. You know that you need them. You know that you need them. But you have to maintain your path. Say, Solomon, I have seen what you have done today. All the sacrifices you have made for me. What do I do for you? The Lord will come to you and ask you, my son, what do I do for you? My son, why are you doing this now? Every day you are on the streets. Every day you are doing my, every day all your mind is full of how to win souls to you, how to bless you, how to love you, how to make people happy because of me. My son, what do you really want, my son? The Lord will ask that question. My daughter, why are you doing this? You are laboring yourself there and then my daughter. Why? Tell me. Say, seek you first the kingdom of God. Those things that the people of the world are looking, after, looking for, they will run after you. When you obey God, the things of this world, they must surely obey you. It's a natural thing. We don't strive over them. I said it's not, I go to my, my brother Hero, I said it's not 100% God. I said there's, I said there's something attached to it. That's why you, you can say, okay, no, let me know. Do it in a righteous way. But if it's 100% God, you must strive after righteousness. 
for blessed. Blessed. Is it say blessed shall be? No. Is it say blessed will be? Say no. Blessed are. It's a finished tense. It's not present continuous. It's not past participle. It's a it's a it's 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 a finished term, finite term. It's a make clause. It's not supposed to be. Say blessed are they which hunger. Blessed, full stop. Are they which do hunger after and test after righteousness? Not only hunger, you will hunger and test after it. If you are hunger for it, you don't test after it. You are. 50-50. No way for you. You must hunger and test after Jesus. For then you shall be filled. Hallelujah. Then your expectation will come to pass. Then, another one, number five, you must not be hypocritical in your expectation and in service to the Lord. This is where most of us need to miss it. Most of us, we are hypocritical in nature. We are Planning one thing in our heart, another thing is what is coming out of our mouth. The Jesus like said, out of our board of the five months, speak about the generation we are now, they have been able to manipulate their heart and out of our board, they don't even speak it. Hallelujah. The devil has so much been able to, 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 to manipulate, to download the generation of this. The, 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 this no why no one can say this is the generation of vampire. Out of that border, they don't speak it again. This their heart is full of sin, but they want to speak it not entirely. That is the peak of evil. When no man understands any man again, is the peak of adulterous nation, adulterous generation. You must not be hypocritical. In your expectation, let the Lord know what you are actually looking for. So, if I say, Lord, if you bless me, I will feel the poor, I will help the, the needy. Your man is saying, If you bless me, I will kill them. If you bless me when I see on the way, I will use cattle to crush them away. That is actually what your man is saying. Lord, if you bless me, this ministry, ah, I will make sure this ministry does not suffer. You are actually saying, your man, if you bless me, they will never see me again. That is what your mind is saying. And your mouth is saying nothing. You are hypocritical. How will you get it? And one thing we should know, our God searched the heart. Yea, the deep, deep down of man. That is the spirit for you. The Spirit of the Lord knows you more than He knows who you will be 10 years to come. If you are pretending today, you can pretend for 10 years, He will follow you that way. Praise Master Jesus. He will follow you the way you are until you have actually come down and say, Hey, now wow, I have been cheating myself. Let me be pleased to myself now. Hey, Lord, if I get this document, I will make sure that. Meanwhile, you are saying another thing in your heart. You are being hypocritical. Hypocrisy is dangerous. It's dangerous. And you must not be hypocritical in service to the Lord. Many people are, this is where many people miss it. They are so much hypocritical in service to the Lord. I want to serve God, but when they get what they are looking for, I've seen thousands of them. When they get it, they are pew. That is hypocrite. And the Lord knows your tomorrow. He knows where you are going to tomorrow. He knows where to get you again. It's a spirit. The Bible says in Job 4, verse 20 to 24, the Lord searches people who will, I paraphrase, who will serve him in truth and spirit. For the Lord is a spirit, and they that worship him must, 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 must worship him in truth and in spirit. Most of all, we are not true, true, true to ourselves. We only serve him when we need something from him. That's why the, 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 the pastors who have gone to places to, to do something, they are selling today. They, are, they, go, they know human beings. They are selling in the market now. And people are on their way to hell. Knowingly. Not knowingly. 
they give you water, they give whatever they give to you, you drink it and you are registered in hell. Why? Because you want it easy. You want to play God for one night. You need it from the Lord, but you don't want to serve Him. You want to get something from Him, but you don't want to worship Him. You are being hypocritical. Hit a road driver, boom. When you get it, you run away. Until something else has happened again. Uh -huh. I can remember when God saved me one time. That is hypocrisy. And no hypocrite will make heaven. A hypocritic person is an enemy to God. You are neither loved by God or by devil. Devil hates you. God hates you. No one that trusts you. You are neither here or here. You are a warm water. You are neither cold or hot. No, he said, I will spit you out and the devil will crush you. Praise Master Jesus. You must not serve God because of what you are looking for. Serve him because he's worthy to be served. Serve him because he's, 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 he's awesome, he's wonderful, he's the greatest, he's the mightiest. He, he owns you. He owns you. It's worthy to be served. Not because uh, if you serve him because of what you are looking for, when you get it, you will leave him also. Praise Master Jesus. That's why your expectation is not forthcoming. Even when it comes, Devil might trick you. He will do that if he's going to give to you. You will for two days. You are, you are suffering again. He want to test you. If you will run away, say, say God, listen, you know, this is your son and your daughter say he loves you so much. Now let let me just give him this the, the gold that is not gold. Is is sir? Is block oh, I I always spray it with gold. Let me help back to him. Once you carry the block, you are already happy. Run from God. When that go, it's boom is. Is blocked. Hey, you are running by saying, say, Daddy, you see him? I told you, God, you trust these people too soon. I know them. I am the one moving to and fro. That is, I, I want my two brackets. My brother, be careful. Be just let God trust you. Let the devil know who you are. Praise Master Jesus. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 And you shall seek me and find me where you shall search for me with all your hearts. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 You will seek me and find me where you shall search for me when when you shall search for me with all your hearts. Many of us, our heart is divided. One is still from for that side of little daughter. The other one is for Jesus Christ. Let me try God with this side. If it doesn't happen, I run back to little daughter again. You are a danger of tomorrow. You are playing with your soul. You are playing with your destiny. You are playing with your generation. It is five time we start seeking the Lord from the bottom of our heart. From that suffering with all our being. Say God, either you do it or not, I will follow you. Not hypocritical. Not to make him happy. I mean, just meaning what you say. Bless me or not, I will follow you. Do this for me or not, I will do. I will follow you. Let the Lord see the truthfulness in you. I tell you, before you are finishing the statement, it's already done. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. There is an end to that problem. Praise Mother Jesus. This is the verse that we all want to hear. Proverbs 20. I mean, Proverbs 23, verse 18. For surely there is an end, and your expectation will not be cut off. Your expectation will not be cut off in Jesus' name. Be both the same, man. Hallelujah. I said your expectation will not be cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. There is an end to that problem. There is an end to that situation. In that situation, there is an air condition attached to it. If only you can access that air condition. Proverbs 20 verse 18. For surely 
it is a finished term for surely there is an end and your expectation will be cut off but for this to happen you must get wisdom and knowledge for this to happen that means you must fear God you must get Christ and the Holy Spirit which are the wisdom and the knowledge of God Jesus and the Holy Spirit wisdom and knowledge get the fear of the Lord I going to prove to the Proverbs 14. So, so shall the knowledge and wisdom. Proverbs 24, verse 14. So shall the knowledge. Um, let you know the only way your expectation will not be cut off now. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou found it. When thou found it. Then there shall be a reward, and the expectation shall not be cut off. See it? When you get a scripture that you're saying, Hey man, hey, get, the, get the, the brother and sister of that scripture. There's, there's a connective lane to it. Don't that just start saying, hey man, when you are not fulfilled the, 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 the requirement of it. Proverbs, the only way. 20, Proverbs 23 to verse 18 will be fulfilled. That says your expectation will not be cut off. It's where you have gotten hold of Proverbs 24 verse 14. Mm -hmm. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul when thou hast found it. Then there shall be a reward and the expectation mm -hmm. shall not be cut off. Have you gotten wisdom and understanding? Mm -hmm. Are you living right with the Lord? Mm -hmm. You have the fear of the Lord in you. And you are saying your expectation will not be cut off. I tell you, I will not say it. I will not say it. Complete it by yourself. Pray for that Jesus. And your expectation will not, will not only be cut off, it will crush you if you are a wicked person. You are so wicked, you don't see other person happy, you are saying you need a expectation from the Lord. You, all your heart is thinking evil about somebody. How to make sure that person is crying and you are saying, God, I want my, which. He will, he will, the expectation will, will land on you as a block. Proverbs 10 to the 8. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Praise God, Jesus. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Are you okay? You better repent, otherwise your expectation will, will perish on you. We perish on you. Change your mindset. Then your heart of jealousy, you better stop it. Then your heart of saying, if uh, only me, only me, only me, you better stop it. Then your heart to, to want to make, you want to make all people to be crying. You can be happy. You better stop it, otherwise your expectation will never come to find out that it will crash on you. Praise for that Jesus. The same fire that refined gold and silver is the same fire that, that burned down wood. You better be careful. I'm closing now with these last two verses. The Bible says, When a wicked man dies, his expectation shall perish. And the hope of unjust man perishes. For the Lord to fulfill, fulfill that expectation, he will kill you. So the Lord said, He is God that can kill and to make a life. If you know that you are, if he bless you with it, your, the people will suffer. He will never kill you for the future to come to pass. When a wicked man dies, his expectation shall perish. And the hope of unjust man perishes. Are you unjust? They don't see the truth in you. You say your hope will perish. You better repent now. You are a woman, your husband don't trust you. All you do is to make sure that did that kid again or ever again is this is saxophone to you to you alone. You see, your hope will perish. Don't, don't just start crying and uh, pain because I cry here. You better face God, God repent. Praise God, Jesus. The last one for tonight Proverbs 11, verse 23. See, the, the desire of the righteous is only good. This is where the brother is. The desire of the righteous is only good. If your desire for that expectation is good, you will get it. God will say, I will not refrain 
that which is good from the righteous person. No, our God is not wicked. So the desire of a righteous man. That's why we must we must hunger and test after righteousness every day, so that we will know how to desire what is good. Yeah. The desire of the righteous is only good. It's only good. There's no other thing again. But the expectation of the wicked is wrath. It's wickedness. You are expecting that thing to make other people suffer. If I get this thing, oh, that woman, I will show her. A whole me, you talk to me this way. If my paper comes out now, I will make sure say yeah, you will suffer. When I will give birth now, I will let you know say, ah, you better keep your mouth shut. Don't ask for something to punish somebody. Don't ask for that if you don't to pay back. But he said to me and to you, vengeance is of the Lord. The desire of a righteous man is always is also only 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 for good though. That you are expecting, let it be. God, when you give it to me, I will from the bottom of your heart, I will use to bless people. I wish your people are happy. I wish your people whoever that sees me will see your glory. That is what God is looking for. But the expectation of the wicked is wickedness. And the wickedness of the wicked will always fall back to the wicked. Praise Mother Jesus. You see where we are coming from today, except you are born again. It's true born again that this one I come from now. After you are born again, these eight uh, perquisites will not get them. So you must, you must, that first principle, be born again, must be there. So tonight, if you know you are not born again, the rest cannot follow. Hallelujah. If you know you are not born again here, and you have been asking for something, Lord Jesus, I need this, I need that. It will not come. You better surrender to Christ Jesus now. Not just for what, and you must know, make your the most expect your expectation to be heaven. How to make heaven? Expecting Jesus Christ to come soon. And if this one is the most paramount, your 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 medulla oblongata, your spiritual vacuum, I tell you, every other thing will follow you. So if you know you are here, you are not born again, and you are expecting from the Lord. It's hard time to say, Father, I'm here. So that I can be able to practice the eight things that I need to follow. Uh, maybe you are born again. Your expectation is always for physical things. It's always, you are, maybe you are expecting something to, to make other people, to, 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 sh to, 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 to make somebody else cry. To pay back. You better surrender now. Because after tonight, nobody must ask for two times before it be, to be done in this ministry. As we are asking, it will be done. Because now the Lord has taught us everything we need to know about expectations and get to them. The keys. Praise God, Jesus. So I really settle down and sit down and teach me everything. So that my, the children you are brought to this ministry will know how to get something from you. So, if you know you are here, you are not feeling really right to the Lord, say, I'm here. And if you know, God bless you. If you know your expectation is, all, is most times you expect something to, 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 to also pay back to somebody, come here. If you know you have a just spirit, also, you can't get it. Hallelujah. If you know, Every day, your mind is always thinking about that what you are looking for. Not even thinking about heaven. So sometimes a day, only once, in your reflect kind, go away. Your expectation is always, always on your document, on your what that you are looking for. You need, you, you need the help of the Lord. God, Satan is against your salvation. Praise God, Jesus. I have just one minute, and the time is only very fast. We are about, I'm, I'm, I'm closing right now. Praise the Lord. Okay, that's it. I'm here. I'm here. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. You need the help of the Lord so that you can be able to adhere to this eight, eight instruction. So your expectation will come to pass speedily for you. 
Because after tonight, you must not cry to any man again. No? You, you now know how to get it now. Come to the mountain and say, Lord, this is what I want. And give it to you. In your closest, this is what I want. God, I have fulfilled the eight principles. If, if you are not going to do right now, go to YouTube tomorrow on Apostle Manuel. You get there. Uh, uh, Apostle uh, Emmanuel Basile. Get it there. The keys to exorcism or manifestation. You get it there. Okay. For those that say, I'm here, let us go on this. Let's go on this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Oh, Lord. In my life. Have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. Oh, Lord. In my life. Have your way. Now, it's your problem is obedient to the, to the will of God. It's your problem is it's your problem not being able to be bold to declare expectation. It's your problem in, in, the, in, in the way of you are no hunger or test after righteousness. It's your problem is being hypocritical in expectation or be or in service of the Lord to the Lord. What is your problem? Cry out to God right now. Is it because you have not got to the wisdom and, and the fear of the Lord to tap into His realm? Or is it that you are not truly really seeking after God's kingdom? Say, Father, help me. Is it that you have a wicked mind? Is it that your heart is wicked? Say, Father, help me tonight. Cry, we have two, three minutes. Say, Father, you know who you are. Say, Father, help me. Father, help me. I want my special for today too. I want to be asking and be getting. But I, I, I know myself that my heart, I don't seek after you the way I'm supposed to seek after you. I don't love you the way I'm supposed to love you. Father, I don't expect, I'm not seeking after the kingdom of God. I'm only seeking after what I'm looking for from you. I don't serve you the way I'm supposed to serve you. Father, help me. Father, help me. I don't obey you. Father, help me. I'll be hypocritical. I'm, hypo I'm an hypocrite. Father, help me. Cry out to God tonight. Cry out to God tonight. Matu Brakanda Bali Matinibo. The Lord is hearing you. Cry out to him. After tonight, I tell you, if you can sincerely cry to God tonight, whatever you ask of him, before you ask, he said we will, will even ask you, my son, my daughter, what are you looking for? Tell me. Cry to him tonight. Say, Father, I'll be hypocrite. But I don't obey the way I don't obey you. Father, I don't serve you. I, I'm only serving because of what I'm looking for. Father, help me tonight. I'm not hungry after righteousness. I'm only hungry after my well-being, after my children, after my husband, after what I can get from you. Help me to be hunger after righteousness, Lord. I don't have the knowledge and understanding. I don't have the depth or the fear of the Lord in me. Help me, Lord. My heart is wicked. I have only thinking about myself. Wickedness is, is not only when you kill somebody. No. If you are only thinking about yourself, you are wicked. All, you are thinking only, only for your children, for your husband, for yourself. You are a wicked person. All the money you are getting is for you alone. It's, a, it's wickedness. The Lord will not bless you. Say, Father, help me tonight. I need help. I need help. I need help. And I believe everyone tonight we have a place to say, Father, I need help here. Father, help me. Help me, Daddy. Help me, Daddy. Cry to him tonight. After tonight, you will not beg again. After tonight, I tell you, before we pray any prayer on this mountain, the Lord will answer. Couple with what he taught us yesterday. He knows that we are lacking so many things. He knows what we are passing through this far. He taught us yesterday that way. He is teaching us again right now. Say, Father, I need your help. Help me, Lord Jesus. 
Help me, Lord. I have come to you. Help me, Daddy. Help me, Daddy. Help me, Daddy. Have your way, O Lord. Baba, have your way. Have your way, O Lord. Baba, have your way, O Lord. I am a clay in your hand. I am a clay in your hand. Father, both me. I am a clay in your hand. I am a clay in your hand. I am a clay in your hands, mold me. I am a clay in your hands. I am a clay in your hands. I am a clay in your hands, mold me, Jesus. I am a clay in your hands. I am a clay in your hands. I am a clay in your hand, mold me. I am an instrument in your hand. I am an instrument in your hand. I am an instrument in your hand, use me. I am an instrument in your hand. I am an instrument in your hand. I am an instrument in your hand, use me. From generating now, you are not preaching to any soul. You are saying, God, I, I, I need blessing from you. You have not spoken to anybody about the kingdom of God. You are saying, Father, bless me. I am an instrument in your hand. I am an instrument in your hand. I am an instrument in your hand. Use me, Baba. Oh, oh, oh. I am an instrument in your hand. Wash me and use me. I am an instrument in your hand. Use me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have cried and prayed unto the Lord. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, tonight we have humbled ourselves before you again. Father, yes, yesterday night you taught us wonderful. So next again, you have taught us again that we may be wise and know what to do. So that Satan will not steal our blessing again. Father, you said to my heart, after tonight, whatever any of your children that truly are ahead to this instruction, we ask something we do it, Lord. Father, your children have cried to you. Father, many of us have been hypocritical. Many of us have been disobedient. Many of us don't seek after righteousness. Many of us so go are wicked in nature. Many of us so go where in one way or the other de defrauded you. To let go, we have said we are sorry. Father, we say we are sorry. We say we are sorry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, before now, all we are looking for is for us, for us. We don't even care about your service. We don't care about what you feel about us. We only care about ourselves. We don't fear you, we don't to fear you. Father, we are saying we are sorry for today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, some of us are not even born again when we get something from you. Father, I say you have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, some of us are not born to declare our expectation because we are not truly really born again. Because we still have concrete in our cupboard. We are not born to declare it anywhere we go. Father, we say we are sorry in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, most of us, we are self-centered, oh God. We don't delight in you, Lord. We believe we can do it on our own. Yet we still come back, come to you. Father, we say we are sorry in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in, in that way we are we have been missing it. I pray for your mercy tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So therefore, after my Baba, I raise up this mercy before you. The mountain of solution and redemption prayer is worldwide. Father, you have washed us clean now. Father, you have told us all you need to tell us about how to get something from you. Father, you have warned us. You have instructed us. Father, I ask, O oh God, let your will for today be done in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, yesterday you taught us, O oh God, maybe by instruction to, to avoid destruction. Today, O oh God, you also teach us, O oh God, the key for manifesting expect our expectations. Ah, but by what we need again. I know after now, we, our life will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Daddy, as you ask Solomon, I said, Solomon, what do you want to do? 
for tonight, you are going to be asking us, my son, my daughter, what do I do for you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever our sin has stolen, whatever our sin has taken from us, to learn that we have repented, to learn that we have surrendered, to learn that we have realized our missing, Father, let those things oh God, come back to earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, above all, these teachings will not be used against us on the last day. Rather, it will be a channel for us to enter your kingdom into our rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, because of this fruit of the womb, O oh God, that are behind him, have been released tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All the documents that, is, that Satan has put in his hand have been loose out of his hand to us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And everything your children have been expecting that have been cut off tonight, O oh God, it has come to manifestation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we have got the keys tonight, Ah, all the doors of blessing that be open for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Jesus. Because I know you love us so much. And I believe we love you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be your holy for answers our prayer. We will never go back to Giga again. We will never go back to Egypt again. We will never go back to sorrow and pain again. Slavery is over forever. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed without giving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.